Joe Biden's speech, touching on Medicare, drug prices, and various policy initiatives, comes across as hesitant and unclear. And everything that comes into the United States of America. What I did, when, for example, he wants to get away with, get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, to for the ability to, for the, us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. Well, guess what? We got it. We got it down to fifteen. Excuse me, thirty-five dollars per insulin instead of four hundred dollars. No more than two thousand dollars for every senior, no matter what they, how much prescription they need. You know what that did? That reduced the federal debt debt by one hundred and sixty billion dollars over ten years because the government doesn't have to pay the exorbitant prices. I'm going to make that available to every senior. All all along, it's happening now, and everybody in America. He wants to get rid of that. We have, I'm going to make sure that we have child care. We're going to significantly increase the credit people have for child care. We're going to make sure we do something about what we're doing on lead pipes and all the things that are causing health problems for people across the country. We're going to continue to fight to bring down inflation and give people a break. His struggle with the closing remarks could suggest a lack of mental acuity and capability. This perception of inconsistency feeds into a broader, conservative narrative that questions Biden's fitness for the presidency. When Biden discusses Medicare and drug prices, many view it as a sign of excessive government interference. Market-driven solutions, rather than government mandates, are often seen as more effective for economic success. Biden's assertion that lowering drug prices will reduce federal debt is often met with skepticism. The general public tends to favor reducing government spending and deficits through fiscal restraint rather than through complex government programs.